All right, let's jump right in. I've got Discord open on my desktop, and on another screen, there's a different account logged in through a browser. First up, I've got a server already set up on my desktop app. I'm going to click the invite link and send it over to my friend who's on my friend list. Now, my friend will get a notification. All they have to do is click the green join button and boom, they're in the server. You'll see them pop up on the user list on the right-hand side. So, how do you ban a user? It's simple. Right-click on their username. A menu pops up with several options. You can mute them, which means they won't be able to send messages in any of the server channels. You can even disable their video streaming. What about blocking? If you block someone, their messages in the server get hidden. You'll see a little tag that says blocked message, and you can choose to view it or ignore it. Next up is the timeout feature. Use this to temporarily limit a user's interaction on the server. They won't be able to send messages, react to others, or join voice chats, depending on how you've set it up. Now, kicking a user is another option. Click on kick, and they're out of your server. But remember, they can rejoin if they have an invite. But what if you want to make it permanent? That's when you ban them. Once you click ban, you'll get options for why you're banning them, and if you want to delete their past messages. Make your choices, hit that red ban button, and they're gone for good. You'll see them disappear from the user list. To unban someone, head over to your server settings. Just click on server name and choose server settings option. On the left, you'll see an option called bans. Click on that, find the user you want to unban, and hit revoke ban. They're free to rejoin your server. Just send them another invite, and they'll show up again on your user list. And there you have it. That's how you manage users on your Discord server. Everything from muting and timing out to kicking and banning. Easy, right?